Well, we'll look at the first I Love You from uh, The Stranger Things. We have this nice little melody which I'll show you guys how to play. Let me know what other uh, music you want to learn from uh, Stranger Things. I have covered the main theme uh, just yesterday, so check it out if you want to learn it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So for this one, you don't need capo. I'm actually tuning the top E string to a low D just to get the proper root. If you want to avoid it, it's okay, you can just go for it. Because uh, in that case, you have to avoid hitting the top E string. You won't be able to hit the bass. Just be able to play the melody. So it's up to you if you want. You can just go um, a bit to a low D tune towards a flat, I'll say. So let's see. Uh, the first part goes like this. Some easy skips we have over here. So it starts out on the fourth, first fret of the G string, third fret of the G string. I have the plectrum, middle finger assisting on hitting the G string, so I'm playing, plucking the D and G. Two, three, four. Then I have my index bar on the third fret of D and G. I hit the D and G string. Two, three, four. Then you have fifth fret on the D and third fret on the G string. One, two, three, four. Then back to third fret on the D and fifth fret on the and third fret on the D, third fret on the G. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, two. Now let's kick in the melody. Now hit the open G, then third fret on G, and then you go to the next note, next bar. Now you play third fret on G, fifth fret on G, go to the next bar. Now you play third fret on the B, fifth fret on the G, then you have third fret on D and third fret on G, the fourth bar, then five, three on G. So you got. And after that, what we do is basically go to the main melody. So I'll show you guys the melody firstly, and then I'll show you how to add the bass and play. So grab a flex drum, we have this. What I do is I play, uh, the mid, I play with the middle finger, third fret on the B string, four on B, three on B, then I got three on G. So you got da, 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 da. Then I play one on B with the index, and then I come to this shape, I have 3rd fret on D, 3rd fret on G, B1, and I play D, G, B, one after the other, like this. So we got, So one more time. Then I go to the next uh, chord, which uh, goes in the pretty much same way. We'll do the same thing, 3, 4, 3, then 3 on G. Then I'll play 5 on the G string. And then I'll play D, 5, G3, and G5. So last couple of four notes change over here. So most of them are same notes, but I just changed the string. Because I'll be hitting the root note. So that's the way I'm showing you guys how to play the melody. So we got first shape. Now the one which you learn for the second time, just play two more times and it just works well. So we have... Now let's add the root note. It will be 1, 3, 5, back to 3. So it goes like this. I have my index on the top E string first fret. Uh, what I do is I hit the E string, then with the ring finger, I plug the B string. So we have, I hit the E and B together. 4, 3, 4, index assisting. Now comes the middle finger hitting the third from the E string. Now ring finger and pinky does the job over here. Then I have thumb helping me to hit the fifth fret on the E string. Then back to middle finger. I'll just see how it actually goes. Sorry.
and that's pretty much the whole song so hope the video helps you out be sure to drop me one of these because it actually helps me a lot and i uh, will be adding another zero beside this number very soon so be sure to subscribe helps me out a lot let me know what else song you want to learn and bye